Welcome to the Maximo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. This video is part of a series highlighting Maximo mobile feature sets. Today, let's take a look at the inspection feature set of Maximo Mobile. I'm here on my mobile device and I'm going to navigate down to inspections and open that up. Inspections are one of the most powerful Maximo mobile features. They present the information in a very visual context for the inspector to quickly input information. Inspections are available in an online and offline mode like the other feature sets of Maximo mobile. But notice as I opened up my application, I can see my insp assigned inspections and directly underneath that I have three records but I can also navigate to my different queries, which are all configurable. Well, let's imagine this inspector, it's near the end of the day, he wants to do some sort of inspection, but he doesn't have a lot of time. So as he navigates down here, you can see a daily maintenance and inspection, um, an inspection form that needs to be complete, but oh my goodness, there's 41 questions, too much for today. But he sees this pump inspection that has 10 questions. He wants to get more information on it, so the logical thing would be is to open up the 809763, that's the work order associated with the inspection form. This particular work order was actually generated from another product within the Maximo application suite, Maximo Monitor, and you could see those details there. But maybe there's some additional information. If there was, he could navigate that, navigate to that, but in this case, he's gonna go back and let's go ahead and give this pump inspection with the 10 questions a start. So as soon as he does that, a couple of things that you're going to see in the top bar up here is that 0 slash 3. The 3 means that there's three required questions he needs to answer on the inspection form. And in this case, it's showing a status of 0. He hasn't answered any of those. However, there's 10 total questions, and again, 3 are required. Well, let's start navigating through and answering these questions on our pump inspection. Look how it's really organized very clearly for the inspector to get through. He can say the first question, is there any sign of a link, a leak? Excuse me. Nope. Everything looks good. Um, and notice right up top there, one out of three, that was a required question. Now let's look at the electrical connections. Are they secure? Yeah, everything looks good. Let's look about corrosion is there any visible corrosion nope got to make sure that you're answering the question right yes or no because notice that you know the good ones are sometimes yes and the good ones are sometimes no so the inspector really has to focus on that you can also see as he's navigating through the form we're up to three of three which were the required questions up here now as he looks at the engine how is the vibration let's say it's low things are looking good What's our temperature? Uh, let's say it's 86 degrees. Um, how is our noise level? Uh, he thinks it's pretty normal. What's the RPM? Let's say it's 235. Well, that's good. What's our outlet pressure? Uh, we're making numbers up here, folks. Uh, we're going to put six. And how is our output condition? Excuse me. Is the output connection in good condition? Yes, it is. Um, and let's answer some or answer or input some comments here we'll use our voice to text the pump looks to be in good condition no noticeable defects love that voice to text when you're an inspector out in the field it makes so much sense so we can do a quick look through again did he answer all the questions yep Everything looks good, required is good, he put his comments in. So again, he's just gonna use that blue navigation button to say that he's completed, all set. And now you can see down here that if I look at that pump inspection again, if I open it up, there are all the associated information that he put in here. Now this inspection is associated to a work order. So when that work order is closed or when that work order is completed, we'll have that inspection completed also. So that is an overview of the inspection functionality 